Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back today with a Makeup Monday for you. It seems like it's been quite a while since I've done one. I showed you a video here not too long ago, just within the last couple days, few days, where I had picked up a bunch of makeup from Walmart, and it is this um, Revolution, Relove by Revolution items. Never knew they existed, and they are so reasonably priced. I think the most expensive thing was the foundation, the serum foundation, super serum. It was $4.98. Everything else was $2.98, and then the little lip gloss was $1.98. So I think I got everything I need to do a full face under 25 bucks for every item, except I did pull out one of my brow gels from Dollar Tree. So that's an extra dollar 25 there. But I think everything else was under under five bucks. I think that's great. So anyway, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to start. I've never used these products. So we're going to try them out and see what I think. Just remember, guys, I'm not a makeup artist. I am here just to give my opinion on these on these items. So we're going to start with this Super Serum, $4.98. And I got this in the color, where is the color? F, F, the letter F, 6. I just kind of compared it to my skin tone in the store. I had no idea what color to get. So I just grabbed this. So we're going to try it. I didn't even pick up a second one. Usually I try to get two shades, then I can mix them or whatever. This is kind of like the dropper style top. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some of this on the back of my hand like I always do. My face is prepped. I didn't put on primer because I want to try this without the primer. And you can see it is a serum. It's not super, super, super watery, but it's not the thickest foundation in the world either. So I'm going to use my fingers to put this on. I did bring a, um, a damp makeup blender because I have no idea how, what I'm going to need for this. It seems a little bit thicker on the face when you put it on. It seems like a pretty nice shade for me for right now. I can tell I'm going to need more. I'm going old school. I'm just going to go ahead and try using my hands with this. It's a lot more coverage than what I thought. I thought for a, a serum foundation, it would be a very light coverage. It seems like maybe I should have put on a primer. I think I could have gone one shade darker. It is covering very well though. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and try my makeup blender and see, see if that kind of changes the texture. I'm gonna need more. go ahead and put some more on my on my makeup blender by the way grab a cup of coffee or iced tea or whatever and settle in because this will probably be a long one so far i'm liking what i'm seeing with this guys it is a lot more coverage than what i thought it would be for a serum foundation Trying to get around my around my nose here. That was probably about four four little drops, and they're they're pretty small drops too. They're not. I didn't squeeze out a lot at one time. Wow. That's nice. You can see I have a massive age spot or sunspot or whatever you want to call it right here. Just for going quickly over that, that covered pretty well. I'm going to put a little bit more on and see if I can build that up just a little bit. It 
There's no overpowering scent to this. Barely, no scent really at all to speak of, which you know me, that makes me very happy. Guys, I'm liking this. And I don't, I don't smear when I'm using the makeup blender. I just bounce the blender on my face. That covered very well. It does look a lot lighter in the camera because of my lights than what it does in real life. In real life, look, I have my makeup mirror here. In real life, it's sitting here looking in the mirror. It matches very well. I'm liking that. No polka dot pores. People laugh at me when I say polka dot pores like they don't don't understand, but those of you that have had a foundation that settles in all your pores, you know what I'm talking about. All right, I'm liking that. It's not sticky, it's not tacky. It doesn't feel drying. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, and that again was the Revolution Super Serum in the shade F6. Like it, so far anyway. Then we're gonna try this Conceal. And they did have this little palette in a darker shade, darker shade combinations as well, but I picked the one that they call Light, I believe. Light. And it's all the different things you would need to conceal and contour, which you guys know me, I don't contour. So we're gonna go ahead, I think I'm gonna try to start, I'm gonna try this kind of peachier shade. I may even mix this one and this one for under my eyes just to see like kind of color correct. Let's go ahead, I have something on my brush here. I've been using a fluffier brush to contour lately and liking it. We're gonna pick up a little bit of the orange shade, this one, to try to color correct a little before we use the um, the lighter shade. Not much is coming out. It's very thick, very, very, cr like a creamy thick. And if you hear stuff in the background, that's hubby in the kitchen. Not too bad. I don't think I've ever used, well, then again, I, I do have a couple color correctors that is thick like this, but I don't think any of them are this thick. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try this lightest peachy shade. I'm trying to do this pretty fast, guys. If I was doing this, taking my time, I would be using a different brush and just hitting it where exactly I need it, like mostly in the waterline or the um, tear trough, I guess they call that. I'm gonna go ahead and try that. I did bring my brush in. I am definitely seeing seeing a difference though. I brought my, my one mirror in that's much more magnifying to go ahead and try this kind of stuff with it. All the close-up, close-up work. It's not bad. It's very thick though. I'll definitely have to play with that. I think if I would have had a um, thicker moisturizer on underneath, it would have gone on a lot smoother. But for, for coverage, I think it's doing okay.
it's not doing bad at all. And I'm the same when I do under my eyes. I don't, I don't smear. I just kind of pat as I go. That's really not bad, guys. And I only use two shades, so I will be trying other ones. I'll be, I'll be trying this. I'm liking it. I'll be playing with this and figuring it out a little bit. I think the next time, though, I will put on a primer first and try it. My pores are looking very, very big right now, but I'm liking the coverage of that foundation. All right, now let's go ahead and I want to powder a little bit. And I do my makeup my way, guys, just like we should. I do it how I feel works best for my skin tone. Every time I do a Makeup Monday, I have people that comment and say, you should do this, you should do that. You do you, I'll do me, and we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and powder under my eyes a little bit. And this is the powder that I got also by Revolution. I'm gonna see how far it goes with just one swipe. And it's another thing with powder. I don't, I don't smear, I bounce. And this is called the Super Matte Powder. And this is in the shade Translucent, $2.99. I'm telling you what, guys, a little of this goes a long way. Wow. It goes a long way. And this was a clean brush whenever I started. I made sure that all of my makeup brushes were clean. So you could see just the true color. That was like one, one swipe around did my entire face. <laughs> Not bad. All right, let's go ahead and try this blush. I did bring another blush in. It's a um, one from Essence that I absolutely love. I brought it in just in case, and I do have my makeup bag sitting down here in case I need anything else, but I need a drink first, guys. McDonald's iced coffee. Yes, please. This was the blush that I got. It's a duo blush and highlighter. And this is in the shade Sweet, I think. Sweet. It's a very light peach color, but we're gonna go ahead and try it. It's probably gonna be too light for me. And then there's also a highlighter, which I barely ever use highlighter, but it's pretty, very smooth, very smooth foundations and not foundations, but blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick some up. Very finely milled, I see that. It actually goes on darker than what it looks in the palette. I like it. I'm not a person that wears too much peach. Maybe I will now because it is a very peachy color. Not bad. I like it. Very smooth, very, very, um, it just, it blends nice. I'm going to go ahead and try a little bit of the highlight, which I'd never use. Very shimmery. It's a very, very shimmer. Almost the way it sets on the skin, it almost is like sparkly, if that makes sense. Yeah, can you tell that I know nothing about makeup and how to describe it? I like that too. Wow, why don't you guys tell me about this stuff? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try the 
if this is the shade motivate this is their eyeshadow palette and they had a ton of different palettes to choose from two dollars and 98 cents guys a lot of them were very vibrant colors which i'm not don't really like the vibrant stuff but i thought this would be really nice more toward fall but we're going to try it now i'm going to try this lightest shade right under my brow to um it's not powdery i mean it's powdery but yet it's not there's no fallout i didn't push hard though but i'm going to use this right under my brow just as like a um a highlight There's some, it's definitely showing up, but it's not, it's not giving me the punch that I'm used to from other eyeshadow palettes. I like it though. You can definitely see it. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. And then I'm going to put a little bit of that right in the corner of my eye. Not bad. I do see a little separation of the of the concealer under my eyes, but I may have put too much powder. Just trying this on for a first time, you know, I'm playing with it, trying to figure it out. All right, that's not bad. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try this. Um, let's try this shade right here in the crease. That one is a little bit more, a little bit more fallout on that. Nice coverage though. And it, I don't see a lot of fallout coming off my brush onto my face, but it's definitely, you want to be gentle handed when you get it out of the out of the palette. And I say it in every video, guys, I try not to get my eyeshadow down below, like from the point of the corner of my eye to the point of my eyebrow. I try not, I pretend there's a line there and try not to come below it because that just drags my face down. Not bad at all. And then I'm going to go ahead and use, I'm going to use this brownish color, cocoa color, just to give me some kind of dimension in the corner. I do probably the outer third of my movable lid, and then I put a little bit in the crease and upward. There is definitely a lot of payout on this be very gentle handed. You don't need a lot. There's, there is a lot of pigment in this. I'm really impressed to tell you the truth. This, for these prices, that's incredible. I'm liking that foundation guys. And then let's see, what can I do here? I think I might use I like a little shimmer on my eyelid. So I think I may use the highlighter from the blush and use that as a shimmer shade on my eyelid. Let's try it and see how it works. It's a very gold. Let's try it. Wow. That's nice. That's really nice. And don't forget guys, you can do that. You can use blush as eyeshadow. You can use eyeshadow as blush. You can do what you want. <laughs> That's not bad at all. All right, and then what I do guys, I um, if you guys have followed me, you know, I am gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna try this shade, this tan shade under under my eye. 
I don't go the whole way across. And what I was gonna say is I, I use powder eyeshadow as an eyeliner. But under my eyes, I go gentle. It seems like the darker I get and the, the more bold I get, it just closes my eyes up. So I use a, um, a little wet napkin and I wet a, just dampen, a little pointy angled brush. And that's what I use to put on my, my eyeliner. And I just use a darker shade of eyeshadow to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, since I haven't tried this color yet, I'm gonna try this darkest color. Just go ahead and try it and see what I think. And then I just come in as close as I can to my upper lashes. I need, I need to do some blending. I can see it. I guess I do kind of like a smoky liner. It's not a harsh, straight line. My power just clicked. I don't know if you guys saw that. I definitely need to do some blending. Can you tell the difference though between liner and no liner? I wonder if it's storming outside. We did have a chance of a thunderstorm today and I kind of, I'm hearing something outside going on. I des definitely am seeing some separation with the um, concealer. But I seriously think I put on too much powder. So you might want to go gentle on the powder. It packs punch. All right, let's blend just a little bit here. I'm gonna clean that brush off on the back of my hand. Let's kind of blend this in a little bit. It's looking, looking a little bit harsh up there. Probably making it worse. I see it like right here, I can see eyeshadow that's kind of come down. So I just take my concealer brush because there's usually a little bit left. And I just, I kind of clean up if I've had anything fall. You know, if you have a young lady in your life that is just starting on makeup, this would be a really nice Christmas gift. I'm seriously liking this. Even not for a young lady, even for you know anybody that likes makeup. All right, let's go ahead and I always do my brows before I put on my mascara. That's just me. This is the Blade Brow. It was $2.98. I got it in the shade brown. They did have a dark brown, and I can't think of what the other shade was, but I just picked brown because I figured that would be the best choice. And it does have a spoolie at the end. It's a twist up top, and it's almost like a little skinny rectangle shape, the pencil part itself. And when I do my brows, I, I don't go overboard. I don't like that look. Oops, sorry guys, it wasn't wasn't out enough. I just kind of make a little choppy line under this part right here, like the bigger part of your brow. And then I just kind of go straight across and then I fill in gently little lines where I'm kind of sparse. I just, I'm very gentle with it. And then I come back in with the spoolie and I kind of soften it up even more. Can you see the difference? Wow. This isn't bad. It's very creamy. 
it goes on easily. And then I just come in with the spoolie and I kind of comb it out and then I see if I need to put some, you know, if I missed any spots. Wow, I'm liking this. You can see the difference. My eyebrows are totally different shapes. I just do the best I can, guys. I try to optical illusion, make them look a little bit more even, a little bit more symmetrical. What's the word I'm looking for, guys? And then I just come in and I brush, brush it through and I need to give myself an eyebrow touch up. This one looks a little bit darker. I went a little bit more heavy handed over on this side, not knowing how it would apply. Just did it again. Soften that up a little bit. That's about it that I do with my brow, guys. I'm not, I don't like the caterpillar look. I don't like super dark brows, but it, it, that doesn't match, as, match me. I like, I like this a lot. I actually needed a new eyebrow pencil, so. This makes me happy. And I, th I think it's a pretty good shade for me. I can't remember what the other shade was, though. It was granite or slate, something like that. This is just the Wet n Wild Brow Gel. It's actually a clear mascara or brow gel. I get it at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I need a new one. This one's looking pretty, pretty gnarly. After you use it for so long, touching your eyebrows and the color it gets in the gel itself and it doesn't look so good but it works great it keeps my eyebrows in place all day long cool all right now let's go ahead and where is my i knew i brought my little torture device let's curl my my lashes because I always do. I think it makes a difference. I don't even know what this eyelash curler is. I know it came from Walmart, but I don't see a brand name stamped anywhere on it. So, but I've had this for years. I just clean it out and keep reusing it. I slept really hard on this side of my face last night and my my eyelashes are twisted in. So, all right, we're gonna try this mascara. This is the Revolution Long Lash Lengthening. And I didn't see any, sh any different shades. This is all they had and it is black. So we're gonna try this. That's the style of brush that it has, just kind of a traditional brush. You know, the first couple times you use a mascara, you really aren't getting the true, the true version of it because as you use it, you're you're putting more air into it, so the consistency changes some. So first impression, you know, sometimes it's not not spot on. It's lengthening very easily. And then I go gentle under on my lower lashes. I don't go overboard. I just touched my face. I'm seeing a little bit of clumping. 
And a trick is to, if you do touch your face or get little fallout, let it dry. Then use a cotton, um, cotton swab Q-tip to clean it off. If you do it when it's wet, it's just gonna smear all over your face. So let's try the other side here. And I just touched my skin over there too, guys. This eye is always harder to do. I sleep on that side and on my face and my eyebrow or eyelashes are always crazy. Wow, for $2.98, this is this is okay. This brush really separates nicely. And it is lengthening. I do see though some kind of fallout from the brush as you're putting it on. I am making a mess here. And we're going to let the little flakes go ahead and dry down a little bit. We're going to try a second coat just to see. Told you this video is going to be a long one, guys. I'm just going to do it on the top, so. Wow. Can you see that? I have bought way more expensive mascara that didn't do this, didn't give me this length. You know, I didn't have high hopes for this stuff. I really didn't. It's impressing me a whole lot. I don't go in store much anymore, so I don't see what's out there. This is a big yes, big, big, big yes for me. Wow. I'm just gonna kind of touch up this concealer a little bit, help just blend it a little bit better. That's okay, guys. I really like that mascara. This is the little gloss that I got. They came in all different colors. I just picked one that looked most like the shades that I would like. Also by Revolution, this is Baby Gloss is the name on the, the package. And I believe this is in the color Sweet. It is, this is the shade Sweet as well. That was the shade of the blush was Sweet. So we're gonna go ahead and try this gloss. Let's see what Very pinky, bluish undertone, love that. Oh, it smells nice. It goes on nice. It does feel a little sticky, but not bad. I like that a lot. And again, that was in the shade Sweet. But they had all different shades to choose from. All right, guys, I think that is it. My thoughts of this so far. No primer underneath. I love everything. Every single thing. I will have to work more with the concealer just to try to figure it out more. I do see some separation, but I think that may be just that I use too much powder. This this powder, a little goes a long way. I Like I said, when I was using it, I literally just took my brush one time around, not pushing hard. It did my entire face. And I did touch my under eyes first, so the majority of the powder went there. So I will go light-handed the next time, but it, it works well. 
I am not seeing polka dot pores. It does not feel drying at all. For the prices of these things, I give all of this a thumbs up, all of it. I'm really impressed with that. I'm curious to see how it wears for the rest of the day. But from what I am seeing so far, you know, the only thing that I would question is the concealer, but I need to play with that more. What are your thoughts? I'm liking it. The serum foundation I am liking a whole lot and like I said that I think it did a pretty good coverage and it was a pretty good shade for my skin tone and this was the F6 and it was $4.98 this was the most expensive thing but yep I'm I'm giving this brand a thumbs up right now I will um I will go back into the description box I'll link everything but I will I'm going to leave some little notes in there and kind of give you an updated review like maybe after you know a few hours or this evening once i've had time to wear it throughout the day i'll go ahead and give you an update down below and give you my my truly honest opinions but right now it's all right everybody i hope you're doing well if you like this type of thing please subscribe i'd love to have you as part of my youtube family you guys are the best have a great day everyone and i'll talk to you again here really soon peace